Hi everyone, today's headlines. Two NSCN K2 cadres and one NSCN KNK cadre apprehended. Over 1.1 lakh children in Nagaland administered in polio drops on January 31st. Cinema hall to operate at 100% capacity, Union Minister releases SOP. Budget like never before, sector-wise expectation from Finance Minister. State COVID-19 tally 2094. Myanmar military says it is taking control of the country. Swedish nurse gets a chance to watch Ender Film Festival alone in Lighthouse. News in details. Two NSCN K2 cadres and one NSCN KNK cadre apprehended. Security forces in a joint operation along with police representative apprehended two NSCN K2 cadres in general area Burma Kiam Dimapur and one NSCN KNK cadre in general area Kovaboto Colony Zunabato on January 29, 2021. The PRO informed that the security forces along with police representative launched an operation based on specific input and apprehended two NSCN K2 cadres and recovered four number of extortion slip, two number of work permit issued by NNC, two number of mobile phone from General Area Burma Camp Dimapur. The PRO also informed that the security forces along with police representative launched an operation based on specific input and apprehended one NSCN KNK cadre and recovered 1.22 mm rifle country made one Samsung mobile phone from general area Kovobodos colony in Zunabato. Over 1.1 lakh children across the state of Nagaland from 0 to 5 years of age was administered polio drop on the first day of intensive pulse polio immunization drive which was launched across the nation on Sunday, informed the state health department. The statewide launch of Polio National Immunization Day was held at Naga Hospital Authority Kohima with Principal Directorate of Health and Family Welfare Dr. Vizile Z. Zukre administering the first polio drop on Sunday, January 31, 2021. Cinema Hall to operate at 100% capacity by Union Minister releases SOP. The Union Minister Pragash Javadekar on Sunday released a standard operating procedure on preventive measures to contain the spread of COVID-19 for cinema halls and theatres. Announcing the decision, the minister said, Cinema halls can operate with full capacity. He said that sanitization and COVID protocols will have been adhered to, but people can carry food from the stalls inside the theatres. He added that the restrictions put in place due to COVID are on verge of ending. The SOP comes in the backdrop of the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India permitting the opening of cinema halls and theatres through an order dated January 27, 2021. Budget like never before, sector-wise expectation from Finance Minister. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sidharaman is all set to present the budget on Monday, February 1, a task which will be more challenging this year amid the coronavirus pandemic which has not only impacted the Indian economy but nation across the world. As Sida Raman promised a budget like never before this year, all sectors are looking up to the finance minister for a boost as they face these unprecedented times. State COVID-19 tally 2094 Nagaland on Sunday reported four new COVID-19 positive cases in Kohima, taking the case load to 2094. The distribution across various categories of people include 4,671 cases from the armed forces or police, 1,861 returnees, 4,989 trace contacts, and 573 frontline workers. The state currently has 56 active cases, while 11,806 people have recovered from the infection and 144 patients migrated to other states. Out of 88 deaths, 78 people had succumbed to the infection. Myanmar military says it is taking control of the country. Myanmar military seized power on Monday in a cup against the democratical elected government of Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi, who was detained along with other leaders of her National League for Democracy party in early morning raids. The army said it had carried out the detention in response to election fraud, handling power to the military chief Min Aung and imposing a state of emergency for one year, according to, a according to a statement on a military on television station. The general made their move before parliament had been due to sit for the first time since the LND 
landslide win in a number 8 election viewed as a referendum on Sioux key fledging democratic government. Swedish nurse gets a chance to watch Ender Film Festival alone in Lighthouse. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has caused many to change their ways and adapt to a new normal. Among those is the Gothborg Film Festival which is celebrating the art of movie making in a novel manner in 2021 that is by focusing on social distancing. In light of the social distancing norms that have become common worldwide, the film festival is asking a profound question. What does film mean to us when we are isolated from everything else? To answer this inquiry, they have decided to put one film enthusiast on a deserted island in the middle of the ocean to watch 60 films in 7 days. The film enthusiast living on the island of Pater Noster for a week without a phone, friend or family is Lisa Endroth, an emergency nurse from Sweden. Endroth was selected from more than 12,000 applicants from over 45 countries across undergoing various rounds of interviews and tests. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.